Do you like my makeup, babe, so far? Yeah, it looks nice. You like it? Does it look like I'm ready to drink pumpkin spice lattes mm -hmm. and carved pumpkins? Looks like you're ready to fall. I like that. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Maria Suazo, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys this fall inspired makeup look. Let me just say the best thing about this makeup look is every single thing that is on my face, every product used, eyeshadow, liner, lashes, everything is from the drugstore. These are our products that you can pick up at your local drugstore or at Ulta in the drugstore section. But yes, this is all an affordable fall makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial. I'm super excited for fall. I'm just fall ready. I'm just ready for fall to be here already and I am so excited. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and let's get started with this fall makeup tutorial. All right, so to prime the lids, I'm using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is one of my favorite drugstore concealers and so I'm just gonna use this to prime my lids. And the way that I blend it out is I just dab it onto the skin and then I'm just gonna use some translucent powder to set that. I'm going to be using the ColourPop Cute AF palette, and this is from Ulta. I'm going to be using this shade right here. I'm going to be placing this in the crease. I love this shade because it has a little bit of an orange undertone, so it's perfect for the transition. I'm also bringing it into the inner corner of the eye and the outer corner of the eye. I'm just blending that towards the top. For this look, you want to keep in handy a brush that you're not going to use for any other product, so I'm just going to keep this in hand and use this to just blend out. Then I'm gonna go in with this color. This is more of a red color. I'm really bad at describing colors, but I'm going in with this shade right here. I'm gonna start in the same area that I applied the other one, which is right in the middle of the crease. Then I'm working my way in towards the inner corner and towards the outer corner of the eye. And of course, you wanna keep in hand that other brush. So I'm just blending these two colors together. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this really dark plum color. I'm gonna begin to place this on the outer part of the eye, and then I'm gonna move it in towards the crease. But I'm starting at the very, very outer edge of the eye. And then just going in towards the top, and working that in the inner corner of the eye. And then also towards the crease. This is what's going to make that very distinct crease. And this plum color is a little bit difficult to blend. Um, that is one thing about these shadows is that it, they are a little bit hard to blend. So you want to make sure that you work quickly with it because I feel like once it's in there, it's not going nowhere. Going back in with some of that red just on the outer part to have a better blend. And then one more time, I'm just going to go in with some more of that plum. So once I feel like that brown or that plum color is really, really blended in there, we're going to use our leftover concealer. And I'm going to go ahead and cut my lid. So what I do is I literally just use the brush and then just create like a, I think a little higher. Because I'm going to use this shade right here, which is just like a cream beige shade. And I'm going to go ahead and set that concealer all over. Even if it's not even, don't worry about it because we're just going to go ahead and um, blend it out. I'm going to go ahead and use the first shade we use in the transition. And I'm going to go ahead and just blend the outer corners into the white shade, both the inner and outer corner. And I'm also taking whatever's left onto the top. Once I have that, I can intensify the plum color a little bit. All right, so once I feel like everything's blended out, I'm going to use that beige white color again. And I'm just going to use this to highlight the brow bone. All right, under. I'm actually going to go. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. To prime, I'm using the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I'm just going ahead and priming my face with this. Yes, yeah, so if you're looking for a good drugstore primer, this is probably your best bet. Wow, I feel like it really smooths out my skin, like my nose. 
feels super smooth. So I'm gonna go in with foundation. For foundation today, we're using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow 24 Hour Foundation. So just placing this all over my skin. So I'm just blending this all over the skin. The finish is a lot dewier, so if you're not into dewy finishes, you're into more into matte finish, this foundation is not for you. And you know what, guys? This is the cutest part. This beauty blender now comes with a case. I love this. Alrighty, so once my foundation is evenly spread out, I'm gonna go in with concealer, and I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. So once that's all, Place, I'm just gonna use my same beauty blender and I'm just gonna, I keep saying beauty blender, my real sponge, and I'm just going to blend this out. Dang, this sponge is huge. Guys, can you just see that coverage coming? It's coming, y'all. Unbelievable, y'all. Again, I don't know, bruh. I don't know, where did I leave off? My camera stopped recording again. Now I'm doing bronzer. And I already did cream contour bronzer and I was using the LA Girl Pro Conceal and Toffee. Now I'm just setting that cream contour with the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer Palette. Oh, I'm sad. I don't know how far I left off, but here we are bronzing the cheeks. So I'm going to go ahead and use my powder once again, the Cody Airspun Powder. And I'm going to use this to kind of just clean that up. It's a little bit much, not going to lie. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this first shade that we used. I'm going to just blend it on the bottom part of the eye. I mean on the waterline. I want this to be very smoky because it's foggy. Once that's all blended out, I'm going to use a more precise brush. And I'm going to go in with that very dark, 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 dark purple that we used. And I'm going to apply it very, very, very closely to the lash line. Very close, very close. So I think we're good. We're gonna go ahead and put on our lashes. I'm using these Allure Trillion Silk Effect lashes. These lashes are really good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off this powder. I'm not sure if that helped any, but whatever. Okay, I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, and I'm just going to use this to go ahead and coat my natural lashes very lightly just to blend it all in with, you know, the fake stuff, the fake lash or whatever. Once that's blended, I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom lashes. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and finish the rest of the face. So. All right, I'm going to be using my favorite highlighter, which is a sleek makeup highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter, okay? I really don't know what to say. I love it. I use it every day of my life. That's it. So I'm just going to place that on the tops of my cheeks. Yeah, way too purple. I need like a gold. I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of my Revolution Makeup Revolution London Champagne Liquid Highlight to see if this kind of like offsets that look because that highlighter i don't know if it's because of the eyes or what but it's just not going with this look so i'm just going to use that to really like offset the the whitey part i think that helped a little bit maybe so now i'm going to go in with blush so for blush i'm going to be going ahead and using the elf contouring blush and powder because i feel like this blush is very muted it's not too much like you know, so I think it'll go great with this look. Yeah, which I feel like helped tone down the highlight a little bit. So I really appreciate that. Thank you, blush. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to my lips. This one. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it safe and use a lipstick that I've used before. This is the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick and Frickin' Frack. I'm sorry, this is not a drugstore. It is affordable, but you can't find it at the drugstore. So yeah, that's basically it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed already so you can stay tuned with all the other videos that I'm going to post. Beauty related, not beauty related, all that good stuff. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So Eric and I just finalized our wedding playlist. So while I put these lashes on, I'm finna jam. You just need to play, 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 play. I'm gonna take a smoothie break.
for highlighter, I'm using my all time. Don't tell me, don't tell me. La culpa. Dakota, you're making noise. Me enamoré, me enamoré, no maname. Yo por ti me muero.